Doctors are one step closer to being able to use an imaging test to identify the risk of bipolar disorder in patients. Researchers at the QIMR Berghofer Institute in Queensland and the University of New South Wales have conducted MRI scans on 200 young people and have returned some promising results. QIMR's Professor Michael Breakspear joins me now from Brisbane. Michael, thank you so much uh, for your time, especially so close to Christmas. I so appreciate it. Just thank you. tell us about these scans. What have they revealed? So we looked at, as you said, 200 young people um, in this study and um, 80 of those people um, had bipolar disorder and um, 80 had a first degree relative with bipolar disorder. So we know that if you have a first degree relative, a, a brother or a sister or a um, parent with bipolar disorder, your risk is about 10 times the um, background risk of the population. And what we found is that in these young high risk people, uh, there were brain networks that were weaker than in um, people of the same in a, um, age um, who, who weren't related to people with bipolar disorder. Okay, and in terms of the brain networks, which part of the brain showed to be weaker? So we see um, a, a whole network of regions, um, a little bit like a, um, a highway in, in the city. Um, so it's not just one region, but um, they converged on an area called the insula, um, both in the left and the right side of the brain. And then uh, there were connections to many other brain regions, particularly in the prefrontal cortex. Okay, so and young people particularly, because if you can identify this early, then you can look at treatment options earlier in terms of the disease. Is that why you focused on young people? Yes, so this work started in a bipolar clinic in Sydney at the Black Dog Institute and Uni University of New South Wales. And after seeing um, patients for many years, um, we often see the relatives, so the brothers and the sisters and the children. Um, and the question is, well, what is my risk of getting bipolar disorder? And um, how will I know if I'm, if I'm developing it? So this whole research is addressing that question and um, try to give those people a little bit more um, than the standard um, background, which is ten, 10 times increased. So try to find who will develop bipolar disorder and, and who won't. Okay, so let's say someone was in that first degree relative um, mm -hmm. part and you knew that their relatives had bipolar, you could get this MRSR scan and if you saw that sort of idiosyncrasies within those networks in the brain, you could then say, look, there is the potential that you might develop bipolar disorder. Is that where you'd like to see this going? Yeah, I think that's where this research is definitely headed. I mean, this is um, one step forward towards the final goal which is giving um, the option to those people of, a, of an imaging test or a blood test that can help um, refine their own risk. And of course, um, many of these people won't get bipolar disorder. And so it's quite, it would be quite reassuring to, to give them that advice. And of the people who are at higher risk, then it would be helpful to um, uh, teach them about the disorder and, and help them identify the very first signs of developing it. Uh, for children who do grow up with, say, parents who have bipolar disorder and they have that sort of weight on their shoulders, look, this could be me, is it easy for them to then also read into their emotions and their actions that might be just uh, another mood disorder or a short-term short depression or changes within their own sort of psychology to read into that maybe I've got bipolar disorder as well. Is there some anxiety around that space for them? Uh, I guess, I mean, you'd have to ask the, them more than me, but what they report is um, certainly what you describe, that they're, that they're worried, they're not sure if they should interpret uh, their moods or their level of anxiety in a particular way. And of course, you have to remember that um, many people in the community during their life will have depression or anxiety. So for many, it could just be part of the normal human experience. And so we try and help guide them and provide information. So as you say, they can uh, interpret this as being part of the normal human experience, or perhaps this is uh, an early warning sign for something a little bit more serious. Professor Michael Brakespear, so appreciate your time, your insights uh, for especially so close to Christmas. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you.